Okay, so now the next step is how you use the Lorentz polynomials to write down the interpolation polynomials. So now, you know, I mean, you just remember the property that the L J X I uh, is is one if I equal J and equals zero if I different from J. And now if I define a polynomial p x equal sum of f of x j l j j from zero to n. Then you will see that this is the interpolation polynomials because if I put in p x j, well suppose I put, this one should be j. Yeah? Suppose I put in p x i, yeah. Then I have sum of f x j l j x i j from zero to n, and remember that this one equal one only when i equal j, and equal zero when i different from j. So this one will reduce to only f x i. And this is true for all x i. So, so then, therefore, this polynomial interpolates the data. And now we use it for this problem. So now the interpolation polynomials is just p x equal f zero l zero plus f one l one plus f two l two plus f3 l3 so the l l3 l2 l1 l0 are defined in the previous uh, problem and now we just plug in the the value so this one is 12.6 l0x plus 6.7 l1x plus 4.3 L2X plus 2.7 uh, L3X. And this is the interpolation polynomials. And if you expand it out, it will be the same as the polynomial if you use different methods to, to find the interpolation polynomials.